These are the complications of multiple myeloma, and we'll see that it affects many organ systems throughout the body. Hypercalcemia, multiple myeloma can be asymptomatic or symptomatic, and that means it can cause the hypercalcemia symptoms like anorexia, nausea, polyuria, constipation, weakness, and confusion. The treatment for this is hydration and dexamethasone for mild cases or bisphosphonates in moderate to severe cases of hypercalcemia. Renal insufficiency, this is due to the light chain cast nephropathy or deposition disease. This can be acute or gradual in onset, and eventually you'll have normocytic anemia due to kidney damage. The treatment here is plasmapheresis or dialysis. Infections, multiple myeloma predisposes you to infections like pneumonia and UTI. This is worst in the first three to four months of therapy. You often want to give these patients vaccines and prophylactic, prophylactic antibiotics during therapy to help prevent infections. Patients can get skeletal lesions, like you can see in this background image here. Symptoms will be bone pain, or they might have pathologic fractures as the presenting symptoms. Um, you want to give bisphosphonates for prevention here. Hyperviscosity syndrome is another problem. Your blood gets very thick. This can cause nasal or oral bleeding, blurry vision, neurologic symptoms like confusion and headache, and heart failure. To treat this, you do plasmapheresis if they have symptoms. Lastly, thrombosis in multiple myeloma. They have a high risk of arterial thrombosis. Um, the arterial thrombosis can be strokes, TIAs, or myocardial infarctions.